Hey guys, for this video, we're going to take a look at this Edelbrock Performer Series Carburetor Calibration Kit. This is kit 1487, and it comes with rods and jets and your step-up springs. I thought we'd do a quick video, kind of explaining it a little bit and showing you what you get. It's pretty bare, <laughs> I know, for what you pay for it. Um, if you look... At the back of the card that comes with it it tells you everything that's included and if we start with the springs you can see they are color-coded and um, they're different uh, tension stiffnesses for the springs so your carburetor is going to have two sets one here and one here, it's a Torx bolt that's holding that in place. You don't have to take it all the way out. Just get it a little loose, and this door will actually kick off to the side here. And there we go. This guy just comes right out. You can see the spring sitting right there. So to determine what spring you need, you're going to need a vacuum gauge. So with the car warmed up, in neutral you're going to take a vacuum reading and let's say you have 16 pounds of vacuum then you're going to cut that number in half and that's the spring you're going to put in so in this case that would be silver um, i already changed the springs on mine i was at 14 so i used pink which is the seven so whatever your vacuum reading is at idle just cut it in half that's the spring if you're between two numbers then go to the lower number numerically. So if you were at uh, if you were at 12, then you're between orange and pink. Once you cut that in half, you would go up to orange. So the lower number numerically. So that's how you select the springs you want. And then on the inside of this card, they give you instructions on how to use this, and they also give you this chart. So each of these numbers, we have cruise mode, and we have power mode, and then we have lean, or lean, and rich. So depending if you want a leaner or richer mixture, and then you're just going to select one of these numbers, like I'm going to switch to number 8 right now. When we look down here, number 8 uses the stock jet. You can see all the numbers here, and each of the jets, it's going to be impossible to see on this camera, but there's a number stamped on the top of each of these, so you know which one it is here. It's so number eight. We don't have to change the jet. We just have to change the rod to number 7342, and the rods have the same number stamped on the side of them. So the jet's just at the bottom of what we took out. Jet's down there, although I doubt you can see it. Now, if you really wanted to go all out, you would get an air fuel ratio gauge, put it in your exhaust, and you're basically wanting to get to 14.7 to 1. Um, I don't know how realistic it is for you to get to exactly that. But anyway, that's what you would do, but that's very expensive. So otherwise, you could just you know, see how the car drives or check out your spark plugs, and you can tell if they're white and ashy, like they're too lean. If, you, if they're wet and dark or sooty, then you're too rich. So for me, I was just changing the springs and I'm going to change the rods for now. And if you wanted to get to the jets, there's eight torque screws at the top. Just going around the perimeter of the carburetor, eight of them. You disconnect the accelerator pump, disconnect the choke linkage, and the whole top comes off. You'll see two jets underneath here and then the secondary jets further back. They look identical. And at the bottom of this chart, we also have the secondary metering, and it shows you the different jets. Now, it doesn't come with all of these, but you can see the jet number, like stock says 1426, then one to the right says 1427. The thing that was a little bit confusing is the stamp ID, the last three digits, is what is stamped on the jets themselves, but then the part number is over here. So you're looking at... You know, if you want to go to one stage rich, 4%, that's jet 1427. Well, here you look at 1427, the size is 0 0.98, and the ID that you're going to look for is 398. 
Now in addition in the kit you're also getting a couple of these little spring keepers for the jets. You can see it right on top there. Or for the, the rod. And you're also getting a couple more of these clips. And this clip is like used at the accelerator pump and the chokes. I guess if you break or lose yours since they're tiny, they throw them in there. So, not a full tuning video, but just this is what comes in the kit and what you can do with it. So, thanks for watching.